So here's the combination, super duper easy. So start with the sugar push, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, three, and four, leader. Then we go into a turn where the follower goes downward, anchor step. Okay, now, what was unique about that was um, what the follower had to do. Now, the follower is, is super duper important that you do your basics correctly. So in your underarm turn, if you're, if you're hosing your underarm turn and you're not turning enough, follower, the leader's not gonna know that you're doing something different. So I'll do a really crappy one. So, so if I go, wait, I'm the follower, I gotta put my head around, I forgot, sorry. A tennis player look. Yeah. It's an old hat, you know? All right, so, so uh, a crappy one, girls, is getting like this. If you see my shoulder, uh, that, if you're doing this and you're not rotating your chest enough, that's going to hurt you. So we teach our beginner class uh, something that I learned from Scooby Blair in her uh, West Coast 101 stuff. Uh, she taught me to, to, to turn on the two, on the end of two, and then that way the girls can't come down by three and she's in a great position. We're more advanced dancers, right, girls? So you're working towards that. So, so my sit bone is over my heel. My knee is released, so my partner knows I'm ready to come forward. I go one, two. I do CBM on one. I turn on two. I bring my hand over my own head, bring it down by three. That is my job as a follower. So now if I'm going to continue to rotate and finish it off, my chest is turning. Whatever numbers we're running. Yeah. Running. <laughs> so anyways, so shit, let's do it again. <laughs> so yeah, this is live, there's no editing. So we got one, two, three, and four. Now girls, follow as you can see, my chest has turned up about seven eighths, which is all but one little eighth of a turn towards my partner, but my hip is not. My hips are under turn because I turned into my left lap and I'm, um, I got body torque, a body opposition, and I'm gonna use my hips to on one, okay? Now, so with that being said, what we're gonna do is we have to, we're gonna shorten our line, our distance, because I'm gonna under turn. You gotta remember geometry in your movements, because if I change it, he's used to a basic, if I do a good basic and I haven't turned, he should realize something's different, right? Yes. So, uh, but girls, look at my elbow. Okay. Now, because I turn, what? Well, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn. Watch. Do you see how we're all? It's too, I'm too close for that position. Okay. But I'm too far if I'm over here, and that's the biggest challenge I saw with girls uh, when we were teaching this. So, so girls, you have to understand your elbow is at your uh, elbow. Is that your, uh, what do you call that thing, rib cage? The elbow's always at the elbow, but those are gonna be towards the rib cage on four. <laughs> That's what I eat. <laughs> That's why Debbie looked like an assistant coach. So, <laughs> right? so, so, um, so the feeling of girls is you wanna get your elbows here. Now when I do this, um, go ahead. when I do this, I go one, two, look how small my three hand is, okay? And I get that down. And I step four because my connection is here. All right, I feel it. I'm connected to my partner. So look at my hip is. My hip is going past my four like a normal uh, thing. Uh, four and so now, girls, I'm going to check back. I'm going to check, check, replace, and then we're going to turn. I could also just give you a variation: check, replace, cross, and then swivel around, which I really dig. But we're doing the easy version. We're going to go. And by the way, look where my arm is, girls. It's up here. Creating some cleavage, okay? So I'm gonna come in here and go check back, but look, I did not move my body as far as my feet. I didn't do this and see what happened. I moved my hand. Do not move your hand, girls. Your intention is to connect to your partner like you're gonna just do a basic, you've just underturned. So A, he either thinks you've done a really crappy underarm turn or a really good one, okay? Because <laughs> you're getting ready to do something. So so I'm gonna keep my hand here. I check, see, look, you can see what this, uh, the, the my white skin against the dark color, you can see my hand isn't moving. And then I'm gonna turn, connect, five and six, okay? Well, that was your five and six. That was my five and six, whatever. Okay, but you got it. Okay, do it one more time. That's with the second. So probably see, not, see nothing on this one. Yeah. So it goes one, two, three, and four, five and six, cool? All right, look at my elbow, it's right here. So now, and up. Now, this is important, ladies, your and beat of the six. Your heel does not, cannot, should not lower before the and of six. So watch a basic sugar. I've got one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, okay? 
So that's important that you practice that because when we do the pulse action that we're going to review, um, you're going to be, need to do that right. If you're dropping your heel, try to do the pulse. If, you, if I drop, he drop, I drop my heel, excuse me, on six, five, and six, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything because I'm down too quickly. So I want to be sure that I hold my heel up on, on the on tilt, excuse me, the and of six, right? The beer always makes me burp. So, so anyways. Which is why we continue. That's why it's getting bigger. <laughs> Little hair in the dust. So, uh, so anyways, um, so anyways, we'll talk about that in a minute when you do the pulse. So, and guys, same thing for you. You guys, you don't drop your heel, lower your heel until you've exited the foot. Once your body is past the foot, you can lower your heel. All right, what was the next move? Uh, the guy mimics. Copies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Imitates. The guy imitates. So the guy is going to lead me on a, a basic underarm turn. So girls, I've already done one. I'm just taking back to normal town. So I'm in a good four position here. Now my partner's going to do his thing. Five and six. Now guys, did you notice how... See how awesome Matt did that? He didn't put that hand at all. Okay? Do that again. That was so awesome. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> One, two, three, and four, five, and six. The girls, it didn't affect me at all. Okay? Now, now I've got a really nice connection here. So we're expanding back. My sit bone goes past my heel. Always want to remind you. Be sure your head is over the ball of your foot. Now, as you see how Mr. Matt is taking his rib cage across the floor, he's got a nice extension stretch through his lap. So now from here, girls, on your basic inside turn, you're going to do, uh, you're going to bend your knees. So we're going to go one, he preps me two, guys, he took his hand from rail to rail. So the hand is on the rail, creating space, you can see the space that's being created here. I'm going to bend my knees, three, and, push four, and five, and six. Now. We're getting ready to do the pulse. So from here, girls, as you lower that six, he goes pulse and step, and then back to normal. Now, he didn't necessarily lead me in that one. Uh, he, he did, actually, but but uh, he didn't have to. And guys, you can do it without her doing it. No one cares, okay? Because it doesn't affect each other. Uh, next week, actually, we're going to teach leading the pulse, uh, so we'll talk more about that. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think that was pretty much it. Do the whole thing one more time, and then we'll talk about turns. So be sure you stay in turn tuned for our turns at the end. So we'll do the whole thing one more time from this direction. We've got one, two, real good sugar push, four, five, and six, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and a one, and two. Cool? Now, uh, that's super easy, but the reason we taught this is uh, to work on connection. That's the mainstay. That posting uh, is so important that we post on the end of four. It's not on the four, it's on the end of four, uh, so you can breathe into it. Do uh, you have anything you want to add? Uh, no, just that we have to be aware a lot of times, guys, and I, I teach a lot of time in closed position to really become aware of it, where the rails are. So. When we're doing anything like a prep, we have to know where that rail is so that it's not ambiguous for her. So just always remember the <laughs> <you> word. <laughs> her? Three letters, one <laughs> syllable. So if we took her frame, you would see that the hands are sitting on the rails. And regardless of if I let that hand go, there's a rail there. Regardless if I let that hand go, there's a rail there. And I have to be constantly aware of those. Make sure they're landing there on four so that we have a place to post from. Because if I land on the inside on four, I'm gonna do something different. If yeah. I go outside, it's gonna do something different. Yeah. So I have to be sure that my post is in a good spot for her to finish up yeah. with the slot. Absolutely, that's awesome. All right, you're smart. <laughs> so, <laughs> ambiguous. <laughs> we're not ambiguous, we're just never coming out of the problem. <laughs> Comment below, like, dislike, share, um, but take action and do this and let us know if you're liking what you see, liking what we're doing. If you don't, that's great too because, you know, we're just, we're doing this for you guys. Uh, we already know this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyways, I uh, really, really hope it helps you and uh, we appreciate every one of you. Uh, thank you very much and please be sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe so you get uh, every week-ish. Uh, uh, the insanely awesome technique that we're trying to teach you guys and keep it simple. We're going to think we teach you how to dance, not what to dance. All right, guys, everybody, have a wonderful day and be a good human. And go pack.
Right? Go pack, yeah. yeah. All right, cheers, man. <laughs>